Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is James and you are watching Wonderful World. And very soon I'm going to be posting a complete dart frog care video. And a big part of caring for dart frogs means breeding fruit flies. And I've gotten pretty comfortable with breeding fruit flies over the years and have managed to always have enough fruit flies available to feed my frogs, even when I've occasionally had a culture or two crash on me. And I've always used fruit fly media and other uh, supplies for my fruit flies that I buy from Josh's frogs. And it's good stuff, it gets the job done, but it gets a little expensive over time. So I've always been curious how a homemade fruit fly media would do compared to the Josh's frogs. Will it get the job done as well? Will it cost less money? So I decided to do an experiment and find out. I made a previous video all about how I breed the fruit flies. And if this is something that's new for you, it might be a good idea to watch that video first before watching this one. So I'll put a link to that video in the corner. But basically I am preparing one culture using the Josh's Frogs media with Excelsior and one culture using the homemade media with cult, uh, coffee filters. And then I put them both on the same shelf together and I'm going to monitor their progress to see if either one of them does a better job at producing flies uh, than the other. So before I show you how I make the homemade media and put the culture together, I'll go over what you will need and compare the costs. So on the right, you see the Josh's Frogs uh, fruit fly media and a three pound bag of that costs $30.56. And next to that is the Josh's Frogs uh, Excelsior and a bag of that costs five dollars uh, and i rounded it up so a total of 36 dollars and for the homemade media you're going to need powdered sugar and uh, that bag of powdered sugar costs two dollars and 79 cents you're going to need uh, dried instant potato flakes and a box of the potato flakes costs two dollars. You're going to need uh, vinegar, and the vinegar was 89 cents. And you're gonna need nutritional yeast or brewer's yeast. And this bag of brewer's yeast costs five dollars and 29 cents. And you're gonna need some cinnamon. Now with the brewer's yeast, make sure that you get nutritional yeast. And this is not the baking yeast that you use to put in bread to make bread rise. This is basically yeast that is inactive. So rounding that off, the supplies for the homemade media comes to a total of $11, which is about three times less than the Josh's Frogs media. And so as long as the homemade media does just a good a job as at making fruit flies, then I think we've established that it will definitely cost less money. So to make the media, I am adding to this bowl six cups of powdered uh, potato flakes. And as it turned out, this box is exactly six cups. To that, I am adding one cup of powdered sugar. And then to that, I add one cup of nutritional yeast. Thank you. 
And finally to that, I add one tablespoon of cinnamon. And the cinnamon acts to prevent mold in your culture. And then basically I just mix all of these ingredients together until they're well incorporated. And now that the dry media is put together, I'm just going to store it in some Ziploc bags. And now that our media is complete, I'll show you how I put together the culture. And this is a very similar process to what I showed you in that previous video, except in the previous video, I used just water. In this situation, I am using a mixture of 50% water and 50% vinegar. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting in one half cup of the dry mixture into this deli cup. And then to that, I'm going to add two thirds of a cup of the vinegar water solution. And I'm going to mix that together and what you want is something that's going to have the consistency of about peanut butter. So to give the flies some surface area to climb around on and do their thing, instead of the Excelsior, I'm using coffee filters. And what I'm doing here is I folded the coffee filters in half and then folded them the second time. Then I kind of crumpled them and pulled them apart and made basically something that looks like a flower. And then I'm taking that and sticking that into the bottom uh, kind of sticking the end of it into the media. And for this, I am going to use probably three of these filters. And so this is what the culture looks like after it's been prepared. And now it is all ready to add some flies. So to add flies to these cultures, I have a culture that is uh, in its third week and it is still fairly fresh, but it is producing a ton of flies. And so what I'm going to do is tap a good number of flies into this bigger container and that's going to make it easier for me to tap the flies into the new cultures without getting flies all over the place. And I'm trying to put the same amount of flies in each culture. And as I said in that previous video, this is a point when you want to move pretty precisely and pretty quickly. Uh, you're always going to have some flies that get away from you. But if you do this kind of quickly and accurately, you'll have uh, less flies escaping everywhere.
So it will take about two or three weeks for these cultures to start producing flies. But once they do, they will just produce hundreds and hundreds of fruit flies. And I really can't stress enough if you are planning on getting dart frogs, the first thing you have to do is start uh, making some cultures of fruit flies, learning how to breed them, going through that process before you bring any dart frogs home. So like I said, I'm going to be posting a complete dart frog care video in the near future. And since it's going to take about three weeks for these two cultures to pr produce flies, I'll be documenting that process and I'll reveal the results of this experiment in that video. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something and I hope you found it useful. If you did, do me a favor and like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next video, I look forward to seeing you again real soon.